So how's that what we're doing is? It's already August. Look at this. What is this? Yeah, it's already August. August the second, actually. I'm recording like twelve o'clock at night. <laughs> I mean, tw well, twelve o'clock in the morning, really. Twelve o'clock midnight. Oh. You know, maybe I should just switch Chansey out and switch it back in or something. So, maybe I should like give uh, some PP ups to it so it can use Psychic more. Because that thing only has 10 uses and... Oh jeez. Rage! Sail! Okay, I'm being kind of loud here. <laughs> Sail! Sail! I like this song. Has anyone ever seen, like, the... Like, the vine where, um... The Spongebob vine where... You know, Squidward's trying to get out of the house or something? Well... Is that one episode where... Oh, I forgot to switch. Is that one episode where Squidward... Where SpongeBob and Patrick have this clubhouse, right, in a tree? And Squidward joins in, but... Then Squidward decides he doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. And then... He tries to get out of the... He tries to, like, get out of the treehouse. By pulling the vine. He pulls the tree all the way down. And... I mean, it's just like, what? Well, there's a vine of that where just right when, uh, because, you know, the tree snaps. Or the, I guess it would be more accurate to call it kelp or something. Well, you know, Squidward was just about to get out, right? But the thing snapped. The thing he was pulling on to get down snapped. And it like launched the tree like a catapult or something in the in the house when like flying all across the ocean or something. <laughs> well, there's actually this vine where where that happened and just when the um when the house was flung it was why am I explaining this? Just when the house was was flung, it was like playing sail in the background. And <laughs> it's it's really funny. I might get, I might include a link to that in this video. <clears throat> oh you little Anyway. Um Yay you flinch. So, uh, let's talk about, I don't know, upcoming video games or something. That, uh, that Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, that looks... Oh. Uh, I know how pe- Look, I know how people felt about the last two Sonic games, Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, and Sonic Boom Shatter Crystal, which... I mean, Shatter Crystal didn't look bad, I mean, it looked... It looked like you were playing in a Sonic game, but... A Rise of Lyric? Oh, God. I mean, of course, they did both have their problems, especially Rise of Lyric, but... Shatter Crystal had problems, too. And now they're making... A sequel... <laughs> to the failures... To what people say are failures. Oh, you little... And, you know, I saw the trailer, like, just the other day, and it looks... It looks okay. I just hope they... I just hope they, you know... Don't mess up. You know, uh, Shadow Crystal is only gonna be on uh, the 3DS. You know, San Zero Games. The same people who did, I mean, uh... I'm sorry, Fire and Ice. Is only going to be on 3DS. 
made by Saiyan Zero Games. Same people responsible for Shattered Crystal. You know, like I said, well, Shattered Crystal was alright. It must buy no. But, um. <clears throat> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> there, there's your, there's your evolution, except it can't evolve yet. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when, uh, you have a Pokemon that you can't, that, that's what I've been saying before. You can't obtain Golbat's evolution in the main story of this game. You have to wait until you beat the game and get a certain item. Um, so I guess it's ready to evolve. I thought, I thought it, it was actually going to evolve there. I was like, no, no. Oh, geez, my headphones are falling out. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> isn't the time you use that? No, I want to open the door. <laughs> Something funny if you like uh, stand where the door was and press A. He's like, the, your character's like, the door is open. Hey, idiot. <laughs> I seriously thought Golbat was, uh, those wings were gonna, was gonna evolve now. I was like, wait a minute, did I just break the game or something? Help, I'm a self-employee. Wait, then why are you battling me? What? Wait, what? But anyway, about uh, Sonic Boom, yeah. And, you know, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Let's see, there's a uh, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. A crossover between the Mario and Luigi RPG series, which was really good, and the Paper Mario series, which mm, had some good games, but it's kind of, with the last few years, you know, with Sticker Star coming out, it felt kind of lacking, honestly. I mean, I can't really talk because I've never played Sticker Star, but I've heard a lot of people say that it didn't um, live up to what the first three games offered. Especially the Thousand Year Door, which um, I didn't really like. What? That's a discussion for another time. Back to Paper Jam, but I think Paper Jam looks pretty cool. The only, you know, you have your. Oh, why do I keep doing that? I keep forgetting to switch back to uh, Katsumi. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, I think Paper Jam looks, uh, pretty cool. My only thing is that the game, with the game, you... Hey, guys, I'm back with, um, more commentary, yeah, um... And, uh, this time, I'm in post-commentary mode. Yes, I... I'm not playing the game right here. This is, this is past me playing the game. Well, I'm still playing. Never mind, yeah, I'm... The reason I'm doing this is because I got rudely interrupted once again by someone I live with. Oh. And uh, after I left, I just decided to, go to record the rest of this, the rest of this video session without saying anything and speed it up to four times, which is what you're seeing now. The only difference is, yes, uh, you can actually hear my voice, and I actually decided to record. Uh, by the way, that lady will teach you Thunder Wave and Flux Paralysis. Um, yeah, I got interrupted again. Ugh. But not dwelling on that too much, uh, because this gives me a reason not to, not to make these videos unnecessarily long. Or to have uh, 
like five videos of the same thing because uh, this this whole Silfco thing well I didn't get through the red spoiler warning I didn't get through all of Silfco in this in this um, video session I just defeated all the regular trainers and then stopped right before where I wanted to go next which is what you just saw there <clears throat> um, here I'm looking for wait a minute uh, right there I was trying to look for I think I was trying to look for a place there's a place here where you can heal your Pokemon so you won't have to trek back down to the Pokemon Center and I'll get to what I was talking about in a second before I got interrupted but yeah there's a place where you can have someone heal your Pokemon so you won't have to go all the way back to the, the Pokemon Center and it's really useful I recommend you use it if you don't want to go all the way back down there um so I don't really have anything else to talk about so back to uh back to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam um hang on a second back to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam I was saying that the my only problem with this game is that you know it's a crossover between the Mario and Luigi RPGs and Paper Mario now my thing is that you know you're placing it in control of regular Mario regular Luigi and Paper Mario three characters now that's cool and all but where's paper where's paper Luigi I mean you see in the trailer that you know you can take control of all three the two Mars and one Luigi but it's like paper Luigi come on I mean granted paper Luigi didn't granted Luigi wasn't really playable in paper Mario oh by the way I found the place where you can heal Luigi wasn't really playable in Paper Mario uh, with the exception of Super Paper Mario and if he is playable in Sticker, Sticker Star I don't know but yeah he's not and the other games he's not playable though but I mean come on I feel like that was kind of a missed opportunity I mean yeah Luigi is there but I, I don't know it's just weird um, but that's all I have to say about that see I found the thing that uh, so I'm just gonna continue on with all of my Pokemon healed as you see here <clears throat> excuse me um, by the way I just noticed the um, the Cubone's boomerang attack you know where it throws the bone is actually called bone meringue yeah right there I th I've been calling it boomerang all this time that's so I, I, I can't believe I never noticed that bone meringue that's just wow taking a sip of my water Yeah, Bone Meringue. That's that's good. That's pretty good Nintendo or Game Freak or whatever. But let's see. There's the there's the new Chibi Robo Ziplash, which uh, I never played a Chibi Robo game in my life. With the first game being on the GameCube. Well, first of all, I never had a GameCube to begin with. My own GameCube, anyway. And they had Kibi Robo Park Patrol on the DS. And I think there was a third game somewhere, but. Oh, by the way, I get stuck on the teleporters there. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kibi Robo Ziplash. By the way, I, I, I like that name, Ziplash. It looks pretty cool. Um, 
it looks really fun, you know, with the whole ricocheting the cord to get to, and you grapple on the walls to get there. <laughs> that looked pretty awesome. And it's cool to have a kind of an unknown franchise because, I mean, I don't really see TB Robo anywhere. Unless you, you know, specifically look it up. You don't really see it. So it'll be interesting to see how people um, take it when it comes out, if it comes out. There's, there's the new Hyrule Warriors 3DS, or Hyrule Warriors Legends, which is pretty much Hyrule Warriors, which, which, uh, yeah, with more characters, you know, Tetra and, um, um, other people. And then there's, uh, what, Triforce Heroes? Up a little H HP up there. Raises HP to protein raises attack again. Triforce Heroes. Basically, basically a new four swords, which is pretty awesome. I just wish you can... I just wish, because, you know, they uh, released a four swords anniversary edition on the 3DS. Like about... <laughs> this was like three years ago, right? And, uh, you know, Nintendo released on the eShop Four Swords, basically a remade Four Swords, and it was only available for like, I don't know, three months. It made me, and it makes me wonder why it was limited, because it was free, I mean, I, I don't know why they did that, but whatever. Um, so I think that's all the games I want to talk about, really. All the upcoming games. And of course you have, uh, for those of you who are PlayStation fans, which I kind of am, along with Nintendo. By the way, I keep getting, I, I keep hitting myself in confusion, the jerk. Uh, for those PlayStation fans, you have your Street Fighter 5 coming up and your Uncharted 4 I can't wait for those um they released a new Vega trailer yesterday yeah a new Vega trailer which Vega is like one of those oh. okay I'm not gonna get into that but Very cool, he looked like he was fun con to control. Let's see, Street Fighter 4, Uncharted 4, I mean Street Fighter 5, sorry. Ooh. Yeah, I pretty much about all the rest, clean out the rest of the, uh, the regular trainers in here. Before I, um, uh, <clears throat> this. Look at that HP, by the way. Oh, by the way, Egg Bomb is a physical move, so. Yeah, look at that HP. Chansey's HP, I mean. It's already. It's already maxed at. Its max is already 230. But that's. That's pretty crazy. And I was actually wrong. It. If you train it right with its EVs and IVs and all, its HP can only reach 714. It's all forms HP. It was 718 in other games, but oh, I'm not gonna get into that. We're at 19 minutes into the video. <clears throat> Yeah, just scaling up this wall, or this wall, this building. What, what part of this looks like a wall to you? Come on. A 
book. Oh, you literally just had to paralyze me. Okay, I should say it there. Even if this is post-commentary. Oh, I have refresh there. I won't be keeping that move forever. But it lets me heal any status conditions I have. Which is handy to have. And as you're, I, I pretty much abuse this, this uh, lady who, that sounds really bad. I pretty much go back to that lady every time I get excret. <laughs> um. Poison type, poison type. Oh, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm recording this two days after. Uh, I, re I originally recorded this video. Yeah, August the 4th. No. I really gotta stop. Using that, I, mean, I don't know. Oh, by the way, Electro there has soundproof, so I can't sing it to sleep. Damn. Oh, by the way. <laughs> uh, I was about to say something about... What do you guys think they're going to uh, do with the next Pokemon title? You know, are they going to make a Pokemon Z or X2, Y2? I mean, what? What do you guys think they're... Do you think they're going to go straight to Generation 7 of Pokemon? Or... Pokemon, or uh, um, Pokemon X and Y continuation. I would love that. To be perfectly honest, X and Y was alright. I should really get back to that. And there's Golbat trying to evolve again. Um, there is a hidden item on this floor. It's by those boxes, right by the bed lady. And look at this, Chansey's at, uh, Katsumi's at level t uh, 39, I mean 38 already. Jeez. Yeah, if you want experience, go ahead and get all these guys. I recommend you do it anyway. And welcome to 10F. I guess I imagine that one guy being um, all nice like because you couldn't see it there. He was like, welcome to uh, welcome to floor 10. I hope you enjoy me or something. <laughs> he just has this big smile on his face. The only Team Rocket member that does. The only Team Rocket grunt that does. Uh, right there I got a Zinc. Increases special defense. Yeah. There are six of those for each stat. HP up. Increases HP. Oh, I forgot. Protein increases... Attack, I think. Iron increases defense. Carbos increases special attack. Zinc increases special defense. And, no wait, Carbos. And that was Mace. Let's say Carbos increases 
Speed. Calcium increases special attack. Did I just say that? I can't remember. I can't remember what I said like five seconds ago. But with that, I think that's all the trainers in this place. Okay, so... And we're coming to an end on this video. And yeah, there's a max potion right there. So... With this, uh... With this, I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching, and next time, we'll finish up Silphco, and probably take on one of the gyms, okay? Bye!